All right, everyone, we're back with more Kindergarten Chaos, and you know what that means. We are getting closer to the secrets of our principal. I'm pretty sure our principal is the root of the reason of why Billy is missing, but we need to get the evidence. And to do that, we need to do Monty's mission today. We need to basically figure out how to get $20 to pay Monty to make the key out of the key mold. It's a whole ordeal. So let's go ahead, grab the key mold. I'm gonna also grab the lunch pass just in case I could sell it to Monty. Not sure. And then I'm also going to bring extra money because Bugs is gonna steal half of it, which is gonna leave us with five bucks. And here we go with the same old routine with Bugs. Hmm, I smell money. Yeah, someone is definitely carrying a bunch of money around here. Hey, kid, you carrying any cash? Yes, Bugs, just go ahead, get it over with. Here's the $5. Now don't go telling teacher about this, or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. Right, we all know Billy didn't go missing because of you, Bugs. All right, so uh, keep your panties in a bunch there. Keep the anger all held within. Love that for you, bud. All right, Monty, I need a key made. That the mold you wanna use? Sure, no problem. It's gonna cost you 20 bucks though. I'll have it made by the end of the day. You can pay me for it then. How am I gonna get that kind of money? I'm sure there's a ton of ways to do it. I'm still open to selling stuff to you. Try and gather some rare items. It's definitely possible. Let's see if there's any other hints for Monty's. Nope, just that one. You need a special item from Jerome, which is the key mold and as much money as you can carry. Oh man. What we could try to do is get Nugget to send us to the principal's office. That way the principal gives us a bottle of pills. That way we can see how much the pills are worth to Monty, as well as buying the yo-yo from Monty because I'm pretty sure the hall pass that Jerome gives us can also be sold. So I'm gonna try a couple different things. We'll see how they work today and what chaos I can bring to this uh, already chaotic bunch. All right, Monty, I need to buy a yo-yo even though I really don't want to spend the $5, but it's fine, I'll buy the yo-yo. All right, got the yo-yo. I don't need anything else. Let's have Nugget send me to the principal's office. Hi, my friends call me Nugget, or they would if I had any. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. What happened to Billy? Billy is missing. Poor Nugget misses Billy, but Nugget cannot help him now. It is too late. Do you know where he is? Nugget does not know. Nugget knows who knows. Who knows, Nugget? Your question's upset poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pills. Go much better. What were we talking about? Uh, Billy. Who? I don't know what you're talking about. We were just talking about him. We were not. The principal has forbidden me from speaking about it. And if you press me any further, I'll report you to him. I need to know. No, you don't. Enjoy your trip to the principal's office. Whatever, Nugget. The principal just called me. He wants to see you in his office. What did you and this little weirdo do? That's a good question. Well, get going then. The principal is an impatient man. Fine. So, I've been told that you're feeling sad about Billy. Who told you that? Oh, you know, we're just, uh, gets around, you know. It doesn't matter how I know. It's that I know I'm not sad about Billy. You're not? Then why are you so interested in his disappearance? Were you listening to my conversation with Nugget? What? No, you shouldn't accuse authority figures of eavesdropping. I know what I know because I'm the principal. Got it? All right, all right, sorry. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. It's becoming increasingly clear to me that Billy's disappearance has greatly affected you. I want you to take these. They've helped Nugget immensely. You're giving me pills? Don't think of them as drugs. Think of them as a uh, portable therapy to help you cope with your feelings. Take one right now. <sighs> Fine, I'll do this mission a little bazoinked. It's f whatever, whatever, don't do this at home, but whatever. There you go. Isn't that better? How do you feel now? <laughs> I feel good, man. Excellent. I also want you to hold on to this for me. It's a little gadget, but don't worry about what it does. I can do that, man. Good, now go ahead and head back to class. Try not to think about Billy too much. Whatever, my guy. Welcome back. I hope everything turned out okay with the principal. More than okay, Miss Big Apple Tits. Oh, I know that tone of voice. The principal gave you some of those special pills, didn't he? <laughs> you wouldn't mind if I had one, would you? Go right ahead, Miss Lady Teach. Good boy. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Thank you for that. Go on and enjoy the rest of your morning time. I know I will. All right, whatever, teacher lady. What? You want me to be your morning buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense. So unless you're buying or selling something, get lost. I wanna sell something. What you got? A bottle of pills, man. Whoa, a whole bottle of those things? My guy who likes them is gonna be thrilled. 
I'll give you $4 for the whole thing. $4, that's all I get? All right, deal. Pleasure doing business with ya. It doesn't look like I can actually sell the lunch pass, so I brought that for no reason. It's fine. It's fine. All right, Jerome, I need you to give me the lunch pass. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty is gonna hook me up with sweet yo-yo. You mean this yo-yo, my guy? Oh, come on, he told me he was gonna save that for me. You can have that, my dude, if you'll be my friend, my buddy, my pal. You've got a deal, and since we're gonna be friends, I think you should do something to help me out, you know, as a friend. <laughs> should I think my guy like what? You know that creepy old janitor? He stole my laser pointer this morning, said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need your help to get it back. What do I do? When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. You can use it to get by the hall monitor. Once you're past him, head to the janitor's closet. My laser should be in there somewhere. I can do that, my guy. I got you, Jerome. Not so fast there, little dude. I'm gonna need to see your hall pass before I can let you by. <laughs> What's up, pizza face? Here's my pass. A principal's pass? Whoa. Yeah, go do whatever, man. Sweet, my guy. All right, I'm pretty sure in this box there should be money if I can grab it. $5. Yes, there's a note, a Monster Mon card, and $5. I'm going to take the money and I'm going to get the heck out of here before the janitor comes and gets rid of me. That's the best way to put it. Gets rid of me. Yep. Uh-huh. Hey, man, you heard the bell. Go back to your class. All right. Well, I have $13. Well, did you get it? What? Okay, kids, we all heard the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. <laughs> I hear we're having slop today. How exciting. We'll talk at lunch. All right, all right, going to lunch. Hey kid, over here. Well, did you get it? Man, I got distracted by this box. There was something shiny in it. Turned out to be money, my guy, so <laughs> I am $5 richer. Oh man, that's a shame. Looks like I'm just gonna have to deal with whatever punishment I get from this. You can keep the pass, I'll see you around. Cool, thanks. Monty, Monty, take my pass, take it. How much will you give me? I figured you'd be seeing me around by now. Slop is no good. And I don't think anyone is brave enough to try a biscuit from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. Yo, Monty, can I just call you money bags? Money bags, I wanna sell you something. What do you got? A hall pass. Oh snap, you got that from Jerome, didn't you? I'll give it to you for $5. Deal. Pleasure doing business with ya. All right, I don't need anything else except $2. I need $2, I'm $2 short. How do I, how? How do I do the thing? How do I do the thing? How do I do the thing? How you doing there, Sonny? Want some tasty, nutritious slap for lunch? Uh, got anything else? Well, the menu is kind of restricted right now. What with the new health regulations, I'll have a chocolate bar, but that's pretty darn expensive. Why is it so expensive? It's all part of the government wanting you kids to be less fat. You poor things are wasting away before my wary eyes. Oh, never mind. Well, I guess to get more money, I could always sell my apples. I'm pretty sure they're a quarter each. That would give me $19. And then I could do the same thing at recess to see if it gives me the money. I hope so. All right, we're at $19. Okay, kiddos, that's the recess bell. Go burn off all the delicious slop you just ate. So I have $19. I can use the remaining recess cards. Oh. There's a Monster Mon card laying on the ground here. Pick it up. But I'm pretty sure if I don't interact with anybody and waste my apples, I will have the $20. So I'm gonna skip recess too. Hey, nice. That's the bell. Let's all go back and head inside for show and tell. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? Oh yes, one of my lunch passes. Wait, what? No, I tried to select the Monster Mon card. Getting to eat special lunch with teacher alone is a very special treat. You should try it tomorrow. All right, whatever. What a fun thing to show at Show and Tell. Thank you. Who's next? All right, that actually is the first compliment we got from Miss Applegate at Show and Tell because it's something that she gave us. So, <sighs> love, love that she's just a self entitled big breasted bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't say everything that comes to my head. It's fine. Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, Miss Applegate. I got money <laughs> and I skipped through half my day. Whatever the principal gave me, it was great. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, kid, it's the end of the day. You got the money. 
Yep, sure thing. Wow, you raised all that in one day? I'm impressed. Whatever you plan on doing with that key, be careful. Something fishy is going on at this school. <laughs> I'll be careful, my guy. I'm gonna go uh, <laughs> let all these uh, pills wear off now. All right, all right, see you later. Nice. We got the key to the principal's office. Oh yeah, and we got grass <laughs> as a monster mon card, which will help us uh, complete our sacrifice circle. So that's always a plus. The next episode is gonna be juicy, so make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're gonna try to figure out what the principal's hiding and what happened to Billy. Until then, you can call me Phoebes or Phoebe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!